Speaking of uh, vitamin supplements, the best supplements of all, as Matt and, and Peyton are taking a nice chug there. Don't worry, we got you. The best supplements, prenatal vitamins. You wouldn't know that. Matt no. wouldn't know that. Yeah. But anybody who's had a baby that. and they were told prenatal vitamins, right. man, your hair grows like oh, crazy yeah, really? fast and your skin, of course, your body's all jacked now, up anyway. Now, would it be anyway. bad to stay on those all the time? It's, there's Even. a lot that's just kind of unnecessary. So it's wasted. It so, just goes right yeah. through the system. Huh, okay. Hmm. I probably won't try that, just, but. Just in case. It's good to know. My wife has like 80 bottles of those things, the prenatals. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, what are you spending money on now? It's like 40 bucks a bottle. Anyway. Uh, oh, weather word good. is um, is sunscreen because that's good for your skin. You're gonna though. need it. I mean, even even and in the winter, you need I it. I figure that's the easiest weather word I've ever given, Matt. Yeah, that's great. That fits in right into the cloudy forecast. Thanks, Jay. That'll be <laughs> perfect. Snow. Yeah. Yeah, we'll highlight the seven day a little bit longer today. All right, temperatures uh, in the 40s right now. A little breeze off the lake, though, coming out of the north and the west. So that brings our lake temperatures down. Tis the season for our lake cooling. So cooler north, warmer down to the south. Not a bad afternoon, though. Saw that sun squeak out after those morning snowflakes. You notice tonight, quiet weather, mainly clear skies. A couple clouds building back in here after midnight. Temperatures back down into the 30s. Here's the snow that moved through. Boy, it looked prolific on radar, right? We had a lot of dry air, though, here at the surface. So you probably looked at the radar. Radar. This morning you saw dark blue over us saying, oh, well, what's going on outside? Well, a lot of it evaporated before it hit the ground. We did have snowflakes reaching the ground down towards the southeast as expected. Just a light coating there. They saw anywhere from one to three inches over towards Pittsburgh. That system's long gone. Quiet weather across the U.S., but you notice the overall pattern coming at us from the north and the west. That's where the cold air comes from this time of year. That's where the polar jet is. The polar jet holds back all the cold air. That's in the northern periphery of the U.S. We've got the subtropical jet, which brings the moisture in they're kind of not connected right now right but as this dives south that will start to pick up some gulf of mexico moisture and that's going to spin up our soaring system later on this week and boy is there cold air waiting for us especially for this time of year this is a pretty cold punch that'll be moving in here late friday on into saturday tonight don't need the sunscreen because the sun's not up we're down into the 30s tonight we'll have lots of clear skies around notice the clouds building back in after midnight tonight tomorrow we'll likely start with clouds we could even squeeze out a sprinkle or a shower down to the south. There's a little boundary there. Other than that, we're dry tomorrow. We should see improving conditions throughout the day. And another not bad day should make it up near 40 degrees. It will be a tad cooler than it was today as that wind will continue out of the north. All right, let's talk this storm system Friday into Saturday. We've got the cold air diving in the plains. There'll be a nice strip of snow off towards our west Friday morning. We're quiet Friday morning. No problems locally. We start to gather Gulf of Mexico moisture. The frontal boundary comes in at the same time. With temperatures near 50 in Akron and likely in the 30s at Cleveland, there'll be a big fine line between the warmth and the cold. We'll likely start as some rain that changes over to wet snow by Friday evening. If you have Friday evening plans, Friday night plans, or Saturday plans, that's when the bulk of the snow will move in as this low pressure heads up the east coast. How much snow are we talking? We're not putting numbers quite on it yet, but as of right now, it looks like a good maybe two to six incher, especially the further east you are. You notice the foot of snow plus out towards New England. That's where the bulk of the impacts will be, but yeah, decent winter storm though. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast much, much colder behind that storm on Saturday, but we bounce back quickly up into the 50s by Monday. We'll be back after this.